The paintings I will be talking about are both from the 19th century and I found them in the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. The first painting is called Flower Day and Diego Rivera drew it. It is very significant because of the meaning behind it. Not only that, but culturally the meaning to the indigenous flower vendors shows a lot about the Mexican culture. He showed the culture that he wanted to represent in his paintings. Each detail in a painting matters. In the art world, to many artists, it is important to know what they are drawing and the reason why it may be meaningful. Each and every artist has their own creative ways to express their art. In this case, I will be talking about two oil paintings from two artists. They both have their own unique ways of drawing. The other artist I will be talking about is Pedro Figueroa. Diego Rivera is a famous art figure of the 20th century and he painted during the 50 years from 1907 to 1957. Born in Mexico, Rivera spent a good portion of his adult life in Europe and the United States as well as in his home in Mexico City. He completed his studies in 1905 and the following year he exhibited more than two dozen paintings at the annual San Carlos Academy Art Show. Rivera wanted to find a new way of painting, one that could express the difficulty of his day and still get art from the audience. He then began to study the Renaissance frescoes of Italy that he found his medium. It was with the vision of the future of the fresco with the strong belief in public art that Rivera returned to Mexico. Frescoes are mural paintings done on fresh plaster. To continue forward, I will be talking about the painting that caught my attention. Flowers are a beautiful part of nature. Who doesn't love flowers? As for Rivera, it was his favorite subject to focus on, especially flower vendors in particular were his favorite subjects. The painting Flower Day, Dia de Flores from 1925 was his first ever depiction of a theme that reappeared often in his work throughout the 1930s and 40s. Starting in the middle, we see an indigenous woman with a basket of kaya lilies strapped to her back. Standing at the center of the canvas, eyes downcast two women kneel before her. The flower seller is wearing the colors of the Mexican flag, red, white, and green. Flowers are sim symbolic signs of majesty and pristine beauty. Rivera did much to erase, much to raise international awareness for Mexican culture and appreciation of its history. The white flowers in the center are an attention grabber. It helps balance the white in the bottom. There are two women kneeling down and one of them is carrying a baby behind her back. It may be as a way to honor vendors as well as the beauty of flowers. I say that because Diego Rivera respected all street flower vendors and working people. When someone looks or smells into any type of flower, all they see is extravagance. The painting is oil on canvas and the color to it isn't only white but warm colors like orange. Most of his canvas is warm colors and the yellow in the flowers give it a pop. His painting is very well detailed and you're able to see the main attention is in attention is in the center. As she grabs the flowers, it's a powerful way of the woman kneeling showing appreciation. The next painting I will be talking about is called Dancing People Can Dome by Pedro Figueroa. Pedro Figueroa was a Uruguayan painter and was born on June 29, 1861. He is the best known as an earliest modernist painter who emphasized capturing the everyday aspects of life in his work. In most of his art pieces, he tries to show the es essence of his home by painting local customs that he had observed in his childhood. Figuri not only loved to paint for any type of reason, but he commemorated his childhood memories. He would see himself being an artist on more of a personal level. One thing that he and Diego were very able to relate is that they both brought in their identities. His early paintings were tight watercolor and oil sketches. Just like the painting I will be talking about is an oil on canvas on a cardboard. Not until 1921, at the age of 60, was when he fully dedicated himself to painting. Shows a lot as an artist because many artists start off young and the only thing they focus on is art. To him, since he had other careers, like a lawyer, he focused on art more later. As an amazing artist, he made brilliant paintings and many made it in museums. This painting shows a candome, a dance of African origin performed in South America. This dance is very special in certain states like Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil. 
In Argentina, it can be found in Buenos Aires, Santa Fe, Paraná, and Corrientes. In Paraguay, this tradition continues in Cambacao and in Fernando de la Mora. For Pedro, this painting was a part of his tradition and is part of culture to many in the world. Culture is important to many because it, that is where they come from and continue to pass on, whether it's dances or songs. In this painting, I see a guy in the center. He is using his drum. Pedro had his creative way of showing people spaces and I'm able to see the mood to the painting. Everyone is close to each other and happy while dancing. It's a colorful painting with different colors of dresses and fits. This is an oil painting as well as Diego Rivera's painting. Overall, both of these artists with just one painting got the attention of the United States artists. They created a whole career ahead of them and are remembered today as artists who became role models to other artists as well.